Hey there, everybody. Thet here, and welcome back to Thet Plays RimWorld Alpha 17. Have a nice little town square area now, or town center, or whatever you want to call it. I just think it looks nice, okay? It's pretty good. It's up here in our uh, kind of residential area, I guess. This is definitely our industrial area. This is kind of agricultural. Yeah, that would make this... This is all residential, of course. And I guess this is other. <laughs> and storage. And our prison is kind of like its own thing, I guess. One way to think about it. Anyway, things are going pretty well here in Ragamuffin City right now. We have uh, Briar killing and eating a raccoon. Good for you. Is Briar restricted to, like, a zone? Because he probably shouldn't be. No, he's not. Okay. Good to know. Just saying, if you want to hunt outside of that zone, you feel free. Now, we have silver over here that we mined out. It's pretty great. We were thinking of going on an attack, but we can't now because of muscle parasites. Which will hopefully go away soon, but you never know. Hey, stop eating all of our fine meals. We need that for fine eating. Hey, you don't don't make this. Don't make the fine meals out of smoked meat, please. I would appreciate it if you didn't do that. Also, a wind turbine broke down. And yeah, don't use smoked meat in this anymore. I would appreciate it if that was no longer a thing that you did. All right, cool, cool. Also, yeah, don't use veg veggies in our simple meals simply because we grow so much more meat that we don't need to worry about that. All right, good stuff, good stuff. Colony is looking pretty good. I can't think of a darn thing that we need to add to it right now other than fixing our wind turbines and stuff. Electricity situation is pretty darn good. Alpaca is pregnant. We got a steel Vulcan cannon over here. And yes, I realize I can I could make the um, fence area a little bit bigger. It's probably a good idea just to make sure that enemies can't just walk into it. So tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to extend it out to here. I'm just going to bring it over to the wall. There we go. Put a cut plant order on this. In fact, let's just go ahead and do a cut plant order for all of this. There we go. Excellent. All right. Uh, actually, this one needs to be a gate. Actually, no, it doesn't. That can stay like that because we do need a gate, but we can just put one over here. We can even make it high security. There you go. All right. Now they can still come up to it from right here. So I guess we'll need to go out that way, which means that these or this one and this one is redundant. You move it out. Uh, two more. Yes, I know that'll leave a space right here, but you know, if they're going to be standing right here, they're going to be trying to chip through this and getting shot at by three other turrets at the same time. I'm not too worried about that one spot. So with that in mind, we're going to extend it out by two more. Like so. There you go. All right. We have, I think we have enough steel for this. I'm not 100% sure, but that would be much better for this. I like it. I love it. I would like a bit more of it. All right. Fence is going up now. Hopefully we won't get stuck on the inside of it because we've done stupid things like that before. I don't. I guess it doesn't matter if we roof it all up or not. Won't make that big of a difference in the long run. I do kind of want to see a raid come our way from the east so that we can see how well it defends. But it's not something that I'm like chomping at the bit to find out necessarily. Although I could put up some more security. I mean, the blast turret hasn't gone up yet. Love to see what that can do sometime, but I don't know. It explodes, and I'm kind of worried about that. Someday, I would I would fancy the idea of putting, you know, like Vulcan cannons on each corner of the base, but I doubt that's ever going to happen. We have animal starvation. First of all, that's a lot of mortar shells. Second of all, why is fearful starving? I don't understand. Can you not eat hay? Probably not. Vegetables, raw meat, corpses. Do vegetables, does hay count as a vegetable? Seeds, live plants, processed foods, liquor. I, I assumed that hay counted as a vegetable. But maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. 
either way, this basically means that I need to get some uh, kibble. Kind of needs to be a higher priority, I suppose. So who's not doing anything too important? You're getting that done, which is good. Uh, let's see. Anyone who can cook? Maybe. Pepsi, what are you doing? Sewing an area? I mean, that's important. Kind of want you doing that. Mm. We've got, we got some butchering that needs to get done, too. Mahogany is pregnant. That's good. Me, what am I doing? Hauling steel. I mean, everyone's got important things to do in their own way. Consuming a fine meal. That's important. Consuming berries. And then what are you going to do, Duster? Taking a fine meal and then taming a turkey. All right. Well, you'll never do cooking, so who cares? Cutting a poplar tree. You're the worst person to be doing that. Wind turbine broke down. You know what? You go butcher. I'd rather have anyone else cut down this tree. I'll cut down the damn tree. Because I'm probably better at it than you are. Here we go. Let's go. Yeah, I, that's a decent speed. He has done it. All right. Very nice. All right. We're just going to do pack dirt around this, I think. For now. And then we can actually get rid of a lot of this asphalt here. Get a little bit of our steel back. There we go. That only takes like a millisecond for him to pack down anyway. Ah, can I pack the dirt around here too? I cannot. That looks janky as hell. I'm not a big fan of it, but whatever. It is what it is, and that's all that it is. Dismas, you cutting down animal parts. I mean, that's a good thing. Machiavelli, get out of the freezer, you fool. Getting us some more meat. I mean, I want us to make kibble, but I guess we gotta do what we gotta do first. Is that animal still starving? Fearful is still starving. Okay, Fearful is going to go eat a fine meal, which is something. It's something and it's good, so I, I'm happy with this. I'm happy you're not gonna die. I'll put it that way. Not as happy that, you know, we had to basically let you eat one of our fine meals for that, but we should be making kibble. Come on, people. Couple more gazelles to kill, and then we'll be able to start doing that anyway. What, what are you carrying? Muffalo 13, what do you have? Berries and smoked meat? Well, first of all, get rid of all that. Second of all, a raid with a relationship that... Oh! The Union of Engo has arrived! Wow, look at all them relationships. Gigi... Daughter, Gigi, niece, Gigi, granddaughter, Von Child, son. Oh man, wow, look at the size of that raid. Well, Von Child, your father's here. He might die. If he does, I'm sorry. He has a leather sling. I don't have that much faith in him. And Gigi has freaking mother here. No, not mother. Let's see. Uh, father? Father's here. Her grandfather really and uncle are all here she's gonna be in a bad mood after this raid i get the feeling anyway everyone has to come in now home area or bust please it goes for everyone who's you know animals all in the animal area for now okay there we go manager let's go ahead and stop i wish i could pause this. Actually, I can. I can just turn it off. I can just turn it off for now. d right. Can you... Do you have to flick a switch? Oh, did I, I, did I reconnect it. I didn't turn it off, did I? Uh, uninstall it for now, then. That'll work. Who's closest? Who can do this? Senpai? Senpai. Come here and uninstall this for now. Because he's just going to set all of our animals back to being wherever. Whew. They're attacking immediately. And there's a buttload of them. Okay, it's turned off for right now. Good, good, good. So, let's bring our team. Of warriors. There we go. Let's get ready. I know I had to wake myself up. It happens. All right. So we have one big opening right here. I'm thinking we're going to stay right around here for now. Kind of capitalize on that opening. 
Let's see. Silvermane and Omega. Both of you get out for now. Duster. Get out. Let's see. Pepsi. Where's Pepsi? Uh, yeah. Pepsi, you stay on the outside, too. All right. Well, first of all, our Vulcan Cannon is doing its job. I haven't seen you guys in a while, actually, Union of Mango, so... Nice to see you back. All right, they're going around. So I tell you what, let's head to our old defensive area for now. Well, there goes one, two of them to the Vulcan Cannon. Three of them to the Vulcan Cannon. Sea Lion got shot in the head. I mean, they don't seem to stand a chance in hell. All right. Whoa, don't go up there. All right, team. Go down this way. There you go. Senpai is just going somewhere else. I think he's going to try to do some repairs. Oh my god, there's so many of them right there. They're about to make it to our main area. Which is kind of scary, to be honest. Alright, let's go. Ah, someone got hit already. They hit Gigi first. Kind of ironic. Alani took a good hit there. They're running, though. We've done it. It's already over. All right. Any major damage? Alanya. No. Cut with a crossbow. Sikuro. Nobody lost anything. They have crossbows? Dude, I didn't even know that was a thing. All right. Unforbid everyone. Let's let the battle go on while we wait. Chanel is pregnant. Because, you know, some things can be good. Like that fight. It was pretty good. Okay. Nobody's restricted. Everything is permitted. We'll go ahead and put this back down. And let it do its manager managerial duty. And the Huskies are free to move about the country. Okay. So are the Timberwolves. So are the pigs. The adults, at least. Basically, if you can haul, you're free to move around again. Yeah. That's the basic truth. Okay, there we go. Excellent. Okay. Anyone else get knocked down while we were waiting here? Cross... Yeah, there it is. It's a crossbow. It's an actual crossbow. 23 damage. That hits hard. Very nice. Did not even know that was a thing, to be honest. I don't think we got any... Um, any survivors out of that absolute cluster of a fight. It was short, but oh my god, was it brutal. They didn't stand a freaking chance, dude. And I bet you Gigi's going to be in a bad mood. Yep. Lost a grandparent. Lost an uncle. Well, at least your father made it out, it seems. For better or for worse. For worse for us, of course, but... You know, not a single freaking survivor. Dude. Need manager's desk. No, we don't. We just need this to be put back up. It can only take a moment. Colonist needs treatment. Three of us need... What happened to Senpai? Oh, he got hit with a sling. All right. He's fine. Everyone seems to be generally okay. Pepsi's still drafted. Undo. Thank you. Gigi is getting healed. We had a zit, which is bad. Very, very bad. Kuro, go ahead and rest until healed. Senpai, I think you'll be okay. There we go. But we are getting the power back up. A muffalo is pregnant. Excellent. Always glad to hear. I don't see any stragglers, so... Looks like we took them all out. Oh, our bridge is burning away. Well, that's not good. I don't know when they burned that. I don't care that much. I mean, this bridge was just here for gits and shiggles for the most part, so... Who cares? Very nice raid, though, for us. Basically just free stuff. Let's see. Why haven't these people been patched up yet? Whoa, 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 whoa. Regular uh, medicine, please, Duster. Try that again. Or not regular medicine, sorry. Um, herbal medicine. That's what I meant. There you go. Dismas coming to visit a grave. Could be for any of these three, really. I mean, they all deserved it. They all earned it. Muffalo 7, what are you carrying? Medicine smoked 500 smoked meat. You were carrying 500 smoked meat? 
How dare you? And now Lonesomeness is eating it. How dare you? All right. I assume all the animals we had in here were butchered. We just moved some more in. Don't know if that's true or not, but I'm just imagining that's how it went. Anyway, Dismas, I understand why you want to cook meals over this, but let's go ahead and uh, do some butchering. Ah, crap. We're actually losing electricity right now. Let's turn off the research stations. Well, no, we... If the wind would pick up a little bit, we'd be fine. ay 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 Dismas can do this with relative impunity. It's still negative four in here. So we're still okay for now. He's making kibble. The SOB has done it. All right, we need to increase the size of this because it's getting kind of silly. Okay. There you go. All right, now we can move the kibble in there. At least that's how it should be. Okay, we're moving it. Good, good, good. Excellent. All right. Electricity is up-ish, kind of. I mean, it's almost midnight. There's a lot of things we could turn off, though. Like, we could turn all of these off for now. If this can be turned off, go ahead and turn it off, including this. There you go. And then I will move in here, or Hakuja will, or someone will, and just turn all that stuff off. I'm hoping. Come on. Here I go. Flicking switches. There we go. That'll help. A little bit. Okay, it's going back up now. And we're getting a little bit of wind here, too, so that should help. Once we're over eh, about 10,000 again, I'll probably feel safe at that point. The fire's just going to burn out of control. Not that it bothers me too much. Might get some rain soon to help us out with that. Typically, rain comes after a fire's been going on a little too long anyway. Not always, but there's always a chance. Okay, we got some kibble in there finally. So thank you, Dismas. Go ahead and let you drop that in. Boom. And I'm going to go ahead and end your prioritized work for now. Either way, thank you very much. Okay. Starting to see a little bit of wattage in here. Good. It's 3 a.m. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Turn the crematorium back on. Get it cremating. Oh, my God. That's just dreadful. Okay. Daytime is approaching. Excellent. Now we should be able to turn all this stuff back on. Go ahead and do that. Smelter, I mean, it takes up a lot of power, but we can we can generally afford it when we're getting the, the power coming in the way that we should, which is what we're doing right now, so let's go. All right. That was a good, good raid. It was powerful. It was the scariest. It's probably the scariest the um, tribes people have felt to me in a while. Which is saying something, because generally, uh, we crush them anyway, but their sheer numbers were insane. All right. Let's go. Hello, animals. I mean, <laughs> there's like no grass over here anymore. None. Hoy. Then again, we do have 8,000 hay, so it's not like they don't have any food to eat. All right, still gaining on the electricity? We certainly are. All right, I mean, between 15 batteries, 15,000, we should get that in about 12 hours, which is great. It means we're right on track with electricity gaining right now. Fun child, where are you going? Harvesting a raspberry bush. I mean, whatever, it's your priority. Alanya is fully healed. Okay, everyone's fully healed. Everyone's good, nice and healthy. Animal situation is pretty much back to normal. Good, good, good. Got a lot of uh, pregnant animals waiting to make us some more animals, which is great. Turkey situation. Got quite a few of them. Do we have any um, unfertilized eggs? Or un not unfertilized, fertilized eggs anywhere. Not that I see. 
We don't have any in our bin either. We should be putting them around here. I believe. Yeah. Fertilized eggs will stay in here, so they just haven't been making any. Which is fine. For now. Soon I'll be mad at you. Soon I'll be like, you gotta make us some eggs. What do you think you are? Come on, you're supposed to be like chickens. Not really, because chickens pump out eggs too fast, almost. Ugh. I've been there, done that. I don't know if I want to do it again. Both of me needs treatment for the muscle parasites. We'll go get treated, please. All right, only use regular medicine. I'm gonna just check everyone out real quick. Uh, senpai, no medicine right now. I guess that's fine. Uh, Sation, herbal. I'm gonna stick everyone with herbal. I assume if they're higher than that, I probably did a surgery or something recently. Yeah. Pepsi had a joy wire put in, for example. Triple Kuro. Gigi Omega. Yo, Kuro, or sorry, not Kuro. Gigi's uh, mood is still pretty good considering uh, she just lost like a good portion of family members a little while ago. How you feeling? 43. That's what a spacious interior and a joy filled life gets you. Mm. So good. All right. Are we getting any of these guys taken care of? Not really. I, mean, I guess it's not a huge priority, but. You know, I'd like you to take care of it sometime, please. All right. We're going to expand the home area to include that. There you go. And that is super well defended. Not only with the Vulcan Cannon itself, but also with the turrets around it and things like that. Ostrich, eh? Bring it on! We did it. <laughs> it you might think it didn't stand a chance, and you would be right. Battery broke down. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. And our battery gain is not as high as I would like it right now. This foggy rain is not coming with any wind. Which sucks. We are still gaining for now, though. One of our precision turrets is broken down. Come on, now. We only have 138 freaking components left. Let us save some of it, people. Being kind of sarcastic there, but, you know... You know. I know you know. We have 165 fertilizer. How could we use that? Cultivated soil. Anywhere that's like... Mm. Yeah, no. What about just tilled soil in here? Do we have 135? Yeah, it's 150. But... We need to make a little more. Do I even have an order for making it? I might not. Oh, we do, we do, yeah. It's just not getting done. Because people feel like they have better things to do. You jerks. Making fine meals. Harvesting wild stuff. Cooking. Deep drill. Cleaning. Billiards. Triple has nothing to do. We could make him... We could have him make more art. I actually want to save up on some of my uh, textiles for now. So let's have him make some uh, sculptures. Make five more. Give you something to do. There you go. He's on it. What a champ. All right, the wind's picking up again, so electricity definitely bouncing back. The uh, solar power is about to go down. Local alpha beaver has gone mad. Oh no, he's going after Volpe. Run, Volpe, run. Oh no. Oh no, Gigi's gonna be in trouble. Run, Gigi. Wow, I'm happy you didn't get shot there. <laughs> oh. I was being kind of sarcastic, but yeah, I'm happy you didn't get hit there. Whew, that could have been worse. That could have been really bad. Okay. D Wright's doing some research. We're almost done with Devastator Mortars. Once that is done, I guess we're going back to the basic tech tree to go ahead and fill that out. Spaceship is coming up soon. And once we have it all researched, we're probably going to build it in this area here. That way we'll have a spaceship ready to go. Hello. How are you? Oh, you're dead? Sorry to hear that. Let's see. What else do we have going on here? Do we have any more boomalopes we need to kill? While it's raining is the best time. Uh, see. You'll shoot at that one if it comes in rain. Ah, nah. Stop forced attack. 
It's kind of dumb to have you aiming at something that may never show up. This scyther's been dead for a while. Let's harvest it. Get us some parts, please. What's this over here? A bush? I guess we don't need to kill the bush. Hmm. Colonist needs treatment. Stupid muscle parasites. That thing needs to go. And soon. Why am I out here eating berries? I do not not understand. What grass am I cutting? I don't understand. I'm cutting away... Coming way over here to cut some grass? That seems pointless. Package survival meals. It's only nine of them, but it's pretty good. Did I ever research package survival meals? I don't think I did. Did not. Okay. We're gonna, once we're done with Devastator Mortar, we're probably gonna go back and kind of do some of the simpler research projects just to get them cleaned out. And then from there, you know, the rest of our life can happen. All right, we have enough electricity to survive 12 hours which is more than enough until the solar comes online. We have enough to survive 24 hours on what we have right now. So that's good. We'll be okay. We need, the, we need to get those things built back up and powered again. You know what? The better the wind gets for us, the better that's going to get. So let's go. Animals seem to have plenty of places to sleep right now. I love it. I like it. I love it. Might even like some more of it eventually in the future. I see egg progress for these things, but... I don't see these eggs getting used. Are they getting eaten by the dogs? I didn't think about that, but that might actually be what's happening. Okay. Okay, you know what? Let's find out. Stop eggs in here. We're gonna put eggs... in... Hmm... Where can I put these eggs? <laughs> I don't really have an empty space for them right now. I mean, I guess technically I do. I have a couple of empty rooms that are unowned. So yeah, we'll just use one of those for now. Major break risk on Silvermane. We'll see what's wrong with him soon. For now, though, let's put the um, unfertilized eggs in here. Or not unfertilized, but fertilized eggs. Go in here. Pepe is pregnant. Gets another Muffalo in the future. Urgently hungry. Well, he got that taken care of. It's going to bring him above major break risk. He'll be okay. A little bit depressive. We could probably use a joy wire for him. Or something similar to make his mood a little bit better. Not a huge priority, though. I don't know. The, bio the whole bionic person thing is just not the biggest priority for me. It's not the way I swing. I don't know why Machiavelli likes sleeping in the freezer so much. But she loves it. It's like her go-to sleeping spot. All right. Electricity is bouncing off again. Glad to hear it. How's research getting? Not really getting right now. A little bit busy harvesting wild potato plants, apparently. What is my plant cut at? Two? Uh, I don't want to have research at one. I mean, I could. I could have people with research one and have them only do research, but d Wright's helping us out there. He's not exactly slow at it. Just takes a long time to research something like a giant mortar equivalent to the Devastator cannon or rocket launcher. I believe it's equivalent. Don't quote me on that. I don't know for sure. Ooh, we have a hundred. We have a hundred mortars. That is sweet. That is great. Bring on a siege, baby. Let's go. All right. I mean, that's a lot of dead people. Komodo. Oh, you had a you had a big family, you poor bastard. Well, that's too bad. Should have thought about that before you attacked Ragamuffin City. All right. How we doing? How we doing? We are harvesting hay grass because you know we totally need more of that. Apparently, they prefer the uh, they generally prefer the kibble over the hay grass. Not that I blame them. I want to see if we have any. Uh, Eggs coming out soon. Give it a couple of days. I don't know what's happening there. I don't know if the other animals are eating them as soon as they're getting laid or what. But I don't like it. All right. Pandemonium's eating kibble. Yeah, we need to make sure kibble's getting made. Speaking of which, Dismas is getting ready to make kibble, but don't make it out of the smoked meat, sir. Please. No. No more of that. 
I love the fact that you're making it. I really, really do, but don't make it out of smoked meat. That is for us to adventure with. Okay? Okay. I assume we're not worried about this because we have plenty of smoked meat for now. That said, yeah, don't make any more out of that. Cool? Cool. Kibble's getting made. That makes me really happy, actually. All right, and that is going to be it for this episode of Thet Plays RimWorld Alpha 17. Great raid. Fantastic number of enemies. The way they went down, that was all amazing. It was a great chance to actually have our defenses pretty much fully tested. Looks like our batteries are going to be full soon. Things are going well. Let me know what you thought of this episode of Thet Plays RimWorld Alpha 17 by leaving a comment. If you'd like to, feel free to leave a like as well. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe for more RimWorld. Thank you again for watching this episode of Thet Plays RimWorld Alpha 17. My name is Thet, and I will see you in the next video.